Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to use the uh, custom grid tools that I made. Um, I had an older video, but a lot's changed since then, so it's kind of hard to follow. Uh, so I'm updating it. But uh, well, first of all, um, you need to download the toolbox from my website. Um, I assume you already have it, but if not, I'll add it to the description of this video. Um, and then you need to go to an arc map, right click in the white space of arc toolbox and add toolbox and then find the one you want to add and click open and then uh, so this one consists of five tools the create custom grid or you can create well a grid of any size you can choose the vertical and horizontal divisions and then uh, you have the standard uh, that was added kind of later I first did these create quarter section and create quarter quarter sections and then you can also create labels for those two um, so next uh, you need to well have a, a section grid or really just any polygon uh, grid um, I downloaded downloaded one from the BLM website um, but the first thing you need to do if you're going to be creating the quarter and quarter quarter section grids is make a couple copies of the grids so copy the section grid and then just name it like quarter grid and this is just for this tutorial you can do them whatever you want and then make another copy for a quarter quarter grid and once you have those you can add them to arc map um, let's set the symbology and I'm gonna turn off these two so then uh, we'll do quarter sections first so you can open the quarter section tool and I have pretty detailed messages over here that you can read to kinda learn more about what happens um, what each parameter does um, so the input section grid is obviously the section grid and I'm just going to let it do the default path um, and this overflow is really important um, I'll show you why in a sec but uh, basically it allows you to extend the polylines that are created um, so that it closes any gaps because on the next step we use the split polygon tool to actually create the grid so I'll, I'll use zero um, to show you what I mean because there'll be some gaps in here. Uh, you're almost guaranteed to have to set this to some value but it'll take maybe some trial and error to figure out um, what works best. So, so you can see that it uh, split all the sections into quarters and see this is a good example of um, where a gap is because the tool is basically finding the corner points of each section and then just calculating the midpoints so when there's more than just one vertex at each corner it uh, it doesn't work right um, but that's what the overflow is so we can remove this and then run it again and I've already tried this and I know I have to put in about 800 so and that's depending on whatever uh, coordinate system you're in I'm in a state plan that uses feet so this is 800 feet it's extending each line so there we go it's closed so that should work um, now the next step is to actually split the polygons because right now it's just polygons overlaid with polylines. To do that uh, you need to start editing and edit on the database where the section grids are located. Um, and then you need to add the advanced editing toolbar and um, I'd turn on the quarter section grid and you can turn off the section grid if you want and then you're gonna do on the polylines you're gonna do selection select all and then this uh, split polygons tool will be activated so you need to uh, click on that and then you want to target the quarter section grid and hit OK and this can 
take a while sometimes, so if it starts to take too long, I'm going to... Oh, that was pretty quick, actually. Um, so if I turn off the polylines, um, let's see... I'm going to turn the section grid on and change it to a different color. So um, you can see when I select, oops, I'm going to put it, well, I guess my point is you can see that uh, these are all individual pieces now of the section grid. So that's that. And then the next thing we'll do is create uh, the labels. So create quarter labels, quarter section labels. Um, so this needs, the reason we made copies of the section grid at the beginning is because this tool uses that section grid for uh, similar calculations. So we're going to select the section grid and I'm just going to leave this default. But uh, see the one, two, three, four, um, that corresponds with uh, the values in this box. So one, two, three, four. The first one will be put in one, second, third, and fourth. So you can change this to whatever you want, but I just have them defaulted to this. And then we need to use the uh, input quarter section grid that we just created, so the Q grid. And I'm just going to leave the default export, but we'll run this. Oh, I had it selected. <laughs> so it only ran on that one. Um, we'll do that again. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. Um, so then we can go into properties, labels, and there will be a um, yeah, grid label, and you can label it based on that. And there it is. Um, no, well, that's a problem. I extended the lines too much to the point where they were overlapping. Um, Let's see. So I guess just watch for that. Um, 800 was probably too much. Well, it was too much. You'd want to do a little less than that, but I think you get the general idea of how it works. Um, so I guess I'll quickly do the quarter quarter sections, but it's the same same steps. Um, so create quarter quarter sections. You input the same section grid and then do an overflow for this one I'll try let's try 500 and hopefully it'll fix that problem we had before okay so then um, what you want to do is select all the quarter quarter section polylines and do the split polygons and make sure it says quarter quarter section grid Okay. So now these should be all the individual. All right, and then so there you can see that it's split into quarter quarters, 
and then we can do the labels and it works the same way we do the original input section grid and then this is how I have it default labeled and again it just fits one two three four this is the first second third fourth so you can do your own or just leave it as the what I have and then we select the quarter quarter section grid and run it so then we can uh, go on and turn the grid label on and it looks pretty cluttered from back here um, but you zoom it in, it looks pretty good so we got the northwest northwest or the northwest quarter of the northwest quarter um, yep so I mean we just made a quarter section grid with labels and a quarter quarter section grid with labels and the last one I'll show is um, the uh, custom grid one which allows you to do it of any size um, there isn't a label one for this one because um, I don't have time to think of a good way to to do it right now I guess <laughs> um, let's see so select the section grid but this will work well they'll all work with any input because it's really just a polygon um, and then let's do let's do 15 vertical divisions and 10 horizontal um, and we'll just do OK and there we are kinda cool and then we could split them if we wanted to but I'm, I'm not going to because it would probably take quite a while so to recap here's our section grid and then if I turn on the quarter sections oops well let's use these um, quarter sections with labels and again, there's those little slivers because I extended the overflow too, too much. So that was my mistake. And then if we wanted to do the quarter quarter sections. So um, yeah, I hope uh, you find this useful. Um, and yeah, thanks for taking a look.